Hi, Coralia Dives here. Just uh, popping in with a new video. Look at this white crayfish that I found. <laughs> Apparently it's some type of endemic species. Uh, I couldn't find a ton of information about this specific type online. There are different species that are um, that are like local to um, the different springs. This is a freshwater spring in Florida, and it's really stinky. <laughs> Why is the spring stinky? You ask. Um, there's a lot of sulfur in the water. Um, right, right here. I am checking out the spring vent there was some invasive species of placostomus in there and i was trying to catch them i couldn't catch them though they're really fast that's my best dive friend natalie underwater adventures splashing off in the distance look at all these minnows okay they were really aggressive they kept biting me and it kind of hurt especially on my lower back <laughs> here is the spring vent again okay so the interesting thing about the sulfur in the water it just comes from the earth it's part of like the aquifer but okay the sulfur in the water if you have any silver jewelry on it yeah. will turn your jewelry black yeah. and i have a lip ring yeah. it turned my lip ring black but it wore off pretty quickly what is that called when it's like tarnish on silver it was really neat though um natalie's necklace almost like had purple colors and um oh here's a crayfish again <laughs> but her necklace because of the sulfur it was like purple and blue and like iridescent it looked really cool plus black from the tarnish okay let's take a little tour around the spring apparently this a wall around it was built I think like in the 80s so it's pretty old part of its collapse this is like I don't think this spot is like fully abandoned but it's not I don't think it's a very well used place you know, just a little spot off in the woods okay so apparently there's some type of bacteria called sulfur reducing bacteria and that's what all those like interesting fuzzy things are. Bacteria mats. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Wait, let me uh, adjust my selfie stick real fast. And of course, this day I forgot to bring my snorkel. So I have to occasionally breathe. How inconvenient. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, this was a really cool spot. I had so much fun. It's beautiful, stinky. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of minnows biting me. Okay, so this was a little sand boil that was off in the corner of the springs, very, very close to that main spring vent. But you know, I am obsessed with sand boils, if you didn't already know. If you didn't see my last video, it looks like quicksand. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. I've never seen one so like jiggly before. It's very, it has a little movement. Stunning. There's a nice little patch of lily pads in this spring. Yeah, but I make my way through. <laughs> hmm. Here's more of the, the bacteria mats. And I was off looking for Natalie. I was like, hey, where you at? She went down the, the river a little bit. And I saw this bus. Cute. And there she is. In a cloud of dirt. Basically, I was waiting for her, and the, the minnows were biting me, so I got scared. Gotta go. They're kind of painful. Ooh. Vampire minnows. Look 
sketch-a. Yep, there's more lilies. Very nice. <laughs> this is a really cool spot. I really enjoyed my time here. Not a blast. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this video. <laughs> Damsel flies oh. kept landing on us. <laughs> oh my god, wait, you look like you don't have a neck. <laughs> Amy, this is really, really crazy. Look at your life. Amy, Amy, this is like so No neck, no problem. That's what I always say. There's an eye shield there. Where? I want one on my head too. Mm-hmm. I was looking for that pleco again. Don't mind me. Beautiful frog kick. Oh, it left. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. Because it's like so tiny. If you back up a little, it goes thing. out of focus if it's too close. Yeah. Oh, the thing is. That's about it. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. <laughs>